seems to happen every few years in West Michigan. Excavators accidentally digging up the bones of creatures from thousands of years ago. This week it was in Byron Center, a mastodon that likely stood about to ceiling high and weighed a couple of tons. New at 6 o'clock, 24-hour news aide Ken Kolker talked to a local paleontologist who says all kinds of prehistoric beasts roamed West Michigan. I'm on Plaster Creek where it winds about five miles south of Grand Rapids. Now it was in this area more than 50 years ago where somebody found a prehistoric mammoth tooth. A few miles from where workers in Byron Center just the other day uncovered the final resting place of a mastodon. It is pretty exciting. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. Especially for a professor who digs old bones. I guess I mostly think about uh, the overall picture of what life would have been like back here between 10,000 years ago and 14,000 years ago and trying to imagine a landscape uh, with these creatures walking around on it and maybe some early human hunters that would have been feasting on these things and enjoying mastodon steaks for dinner. This is a first or second rib here. Yeah. The Byron Center find, he says, is not that rare. In Michigan, the, we have a lot. We have a couple hundred fossil mastodons and mammoths when you add them all up together. And the vast majority are mastodons. That includes the mastodon found on the property of Ada Bible Church, excavated by Professor Sterling and students in 1999. Some of it now under glass in a Calvin College hallway. This is the last mower. So this is, this is an adult. We think it's a male based on the size of the tusks. Mm -hmm. So it's an adult bull male, probably in its late 40s or early 50s. There's some ribs, vertebrae, a kneecap, a tusk that reached eight feet long. He says the mastodon that roamed West Michigan not long after ice withdrew 12 to 14,000 years ago had lots of prehistoric company. So we had abundant woodland musk oxen uh, down here in southwestern lower Michigan. The giant beaver was present. There was an elk-like creature they called a moose elk. Uh, it, it stood about this tall. Not to mention chest-high wild boars. And those giant beavers? It would stand about this tall if it stood up on its hind legs. Scientists believe they were doomed by climate change and spear-wielding hunters. By 10 or 11,000 years ago, they were off the landscape here and in most of, the, most of the lower states. Now, the developer in Byron Center where those mastodon bones were recently discovered says he plans to give them to the University of Michigan for study, then donate them to the Byron Center Historical Society. In Southern Kent County, Ken Colker, 24-Hour News 8.